going on everybody welcome back to the vlog in this one we're starting a new project we're going to show you how we go from this to this and we're also doing the front yard show you how we go from this to that and in this video we're going to be doing a deep dive on goliath tech helical piles we still get a ton of questions about the application how they work how the process goes so we're going to go through that whole thing make sure you hit subscribe stay tuned Everything's demoed, now we're ready to start installing the helical piles. We have 15 of them going back here in the backyard, and we've just marked out the locations of those. They're all dictated on our blueprints, so we just need to spray those out. They're already here, ready to go, and uh, we'll show you how they make sure they're installing it right on the mark. We're running into uh, something right here. We have an old footing right there. We're a couple inches off, so uh, we're going over some solutions here. We could uh, get it a tiny bit closer and then do an offset bracket so it's closer to our mark, but right here uh, doesn't need to be precise, so we can just go straight down and we'll be good to go with the footing. A couple inches off of our layout, but not a problem. Thank you. Good. One of the really nice things about helical piles is they're driven to a specific torque which is measured inside the machine. So when we have soft soils like we do right here, when we drive the initial pile, we didn't hit the torque that we needed. So you'll see they're gonna add an extension and keep going down deeper until we get that torque we need. So we had to drive this pile down below grade because we're putting a seven foot extension on there. I need to get more torque, but to go deeper for torque, I need the extension my drive tool here will not fit on top of the extension with the roof cantilever. So, gotta drive it down below grade to get that access, which makes it fun for digging out. We got one that needs to go right here right on our corner so this one needs to be uh, pretty precise so I want to make sure I get this area cleaned out and instead of just spray painting this one we're gonna drive a stake right where it's gonna go so they can measure off of it and make sure that this one is right in our corner exactly where we need it On this project, we're also doing the front porch, which is something that we don't typically do front yards, but I'm excited to do this. It's gonna tie in really nice with the backyard. We just have three footings going out here, so 
Uh, I just need to measure these out, spray them, and the one thing that you really want to make sure of is that you have a utility mark out. So we got that. We've located where the water, the gas, and the sewer line comes out of the house and it's not going to be an issue. So I'm going to spray these out and uh, be good to go. Easy peasy, three footings out here, and uh, we're gonna have a nice little front porch, roof over it. It's gonna be sick. See now with this straight line that they're doing, we've got six piles. They're gonna set two ends, run a string line, and then they'll make sure that all of these are in a perfectly straight line. So when we go to build, it's good to go. We don't gotta worry about it. We're also hiring. We're hiring another carpenter. So if you think you got the right stuff, like an astronaut and you wanna go to building space, Hop aboard the rocket ship and send your application to careers.premiereoutdoor at gmail.com. Come work with us. You'll get free shirts. Local piles are still one of those things that we get the most questions about in our videos, so let's address a couple of those for you right now. Yo, idiot! That can't go in my rocky soil! We definitely get that one a lot, and trust me, we've talked to installers all over the country, and if you have rocky soil and there's an installer in your area, they're used to dealing with it. They have augers on the truck that'll displace large rocks, and if you are on bedrock, they can mount directly to that, so you're good to go. Yo dog, those are metal, and I'm no scientist, but if you put metal in wet ground, it's gonna rust. Rest assured, it's not going to rust out. These are fully galvanized, and they come with a 30 year warranty, so you're not gonna have any issues with that, and uh, although they have a 30 year warranty, the lifespan of these is far greater than that. Rust is not gonna be an issue. Hey man, they seem cool or whatever, but concrete's so much cheaper. Concrete is going to be a little bit cheaper for your build, but we look at it as an efficiency point here. We can sub this out, they can install all of them in one day, and we can bypass the inspection that would be needed on a concrete footing because they provide an engineering report with each installation. So as soon as these piles go in, we can start framing. That is worth its weight in gold. Yeah, but concrete's just like, it's just like better. It's just better or whatever. Well, there's nothing inherently wrong with concrete footings. 
I want to ask you this question. With every concrete footing that you do, are you doing a soil test at the bottom of that hole to determine the real load bearing capacity of the soil? My guess would be you are not. That is where helical piles really shine because they are installed to a certain torque. They can go into any type of soil and keep going until they reach that torque so you know they're locked in for justice. All right, well, that actually does sound pretty cool, so where do I get them? I'm glad you asked. You can find a certified installer uh, somewhere in your area. There's franchisees all over the place, and they'll get you hooked up, and you'll be almost as cool as us. Yeah, right, dog. Fat chance. <laughs> <laughs> You did a great job. It was almost like playing that hater character. It was like so natural for you. <laughs> <laughs> the final thing about these helical piles are the heads that go on top. So the heads attach with three bolts. We have two that go into the pile below it for uplift and one that goes against the side for lateral stability. And then they have the adjustable post base. We love these because we can set them all to the exact same elevation and it makes cutting your six by six posts super easy or in a lot of cases for low decks, we can spin these so we can do the beam directly on top of the footing, which is super easy, super clean way to do it. We love it. Can't do that with no wooden concrete. <laughs> We got all of our helical piles installed in the back and we've got the three out front finished up, ready to go. We have wood getting delivered. Tomorrow we're gonna be ready to start framing and we can just go right away, which is awesome. My favorite part about helical piles. So make sure you hit subscribe. This is gonna be a really cool project. Our first front porch that we've done. So make sure you hit subscribe, stay tuned. And until next time, this has been Premier Outdoor Living.